Hello and welcome to Where the Rose Live here in Beppu. I'm Tom May and I'm sat here with these two good looking fellas, Lewis Ludlam and Henry Slade. Yes, Slade and Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> The best lookers, they gave me you two. And uh, we have a massive game for you in store this weekend. England versus Australia in the quarter-final of the Rugby World Cup in Oita, just down the road. And it's a strong-looking lineup that Eddie Jones has picked. Henry, there's a change in the centre. You're lining up alongside Manu and Owen in the midfield. Are you excited to get back in a starting shirt? Uh, yeah, really excited, actually. Um, it's been uh, sort of a bit of a frustrating few weeks for me. Obviously, I've been, uh, been injured and sort of just getting a bit of game time here and there. Um, so yeah, to get back and start is, is really pleasing. Um, yeah, excited now to get out there on the weekend. And playing alongside Manu, he looks somewhere near back to his best. Yeah, he's, he's enormous as well. And when he, <laughs> when he gets going, he's tough to stop. And he's been, he's been very good this whole um, build up to the World Cup in the, the pre-warm up games and, and in the World Cup, he's been, he's been on real good form. So hopefully he can carry that forward um, and I can sort of hang on to his coattails, get through. <laughs> And Lewis Mako's back to full fitness. He takes his spot in the front row with Joe on the bench. How good is it to have him back in the team? Yeah, it's class. Um, he's a leader, leader in the squad. Um, he, he's a fantastic player, and uh, he's uh, he's been really good for us when he when he's been playing. Um, obviously, a real tough decision leaving Genji out, but it's, um, it's tough tough calls. Everyone's everyone's top top world class player, especially in that position. So. Um, yeah, it's good, good to have him back and um, hopefully he's, uh, he, he, does a, he does a job as always. And a different combination in the second row with Marrow partnering Courtney. How do those two complement each other, perhaps differently than any other? Well, M M Marrow's more of a, more of a line-up forward. He'll, he'll run the line out, he'll make the calls, whereas Courtney can free himself up in, in defence and around the, around the park a little bit more. So, yeah, it's um, a really, really exciting, exciting pairing, I think. Um, but, but like I say, wh whoever... Whoever gets picked, they're uh, world-class players, so it's always always a tough decision to make, and um, we're just fortunate we've got that we've got that squad depth, and we've got uh, a, a lot a lot of really good options to choose from. And you're part of the team that will finish the game. It's really strong and versatile bench. Um, are you looking forward to, to those opportunities? Absolutely, um, it's re really exciting exciting week for me personally, watching the likes of Pocock and and Hooper in the back row and. And sort of trying to take parts from their game over the years, and it's, a, it's the reason you play the game to sort of challenge yourself against the best, and hopefully to get the chance to run out, run out against them at the weekend will be a, will be a massive challenge, but um, an opportunity I'm really excited for. And Henry, a bit of disruption with the cancelled game against France. What's the training been like? Given it was probably slightly longer than a normal preparation for a Test match. Uh, training's been good actually. We got out of Tokyo pretty much straight away. I mean, fair play to to the guys. Um, Charlotte and Fran for organising that to get us down. We went down to Miyazaki back to where we did our first week. A uh, bit some, some nice weather, um, so we get some some good sessions in. We had a pretty tasty session on the Saturday, uh, which was basically earned your weekend. Yeah, yeah. So it was basically just like playing test. Well, not like playing test match, but it was as close to as we can. Um, so we feel like we've had we've had really good preparation coming into this. Uh, we had a couple of days uh, downtime as well to to chill. Um, Always felt. I think we came into this week feeling a bit refreshed and yeah, really excited now about getting out of the weekend. And Lewis, you've been here since the early part of the week. Uh, what's it been like since you've been in Beppu? Yeah, it's been good. Um, as I said, we've had a, a, a couple of really good, really good training days, and I think we're we're well prepped to, to go in the weekend. Obviously, longer turnaround, like you say, but um, it just means you can get more work in. We've we've had probably just over just over a week a little bit longer to focus for it so um, yeah prep's been really good and hopefully get out this afternoon and have a chance to see see what's about and you've played against Australia a couple of times um, this team are, are world clubs up, up front and in the back line where, where are their particular threats well Lewis already touched on um, the threats of their back row and poaching balls and in the breakdown they got some big lads um, as well in that front five carrying wise, but we've also got a lot of pace in the outside channels and a lot of uh, well, size in the midfield. I think, I think Karevi is a big, strong lad. Um, interesting to see him up against uh, Manu at the weekend. That'll be, that'll be good. Avoid that one. Yeah, um, yeah like I said, they've got, they got some real pace and, uh, and quality players in the outside, outside channels as well. So we know that our defence out there is going to be a big factor. Uh, and we, we've spoken about being, being brutal and um, very physical, but we're going to have to make good decisions out there and um, 
nullify those threats. But I think we, we've been practicing all week in the last for however long we've, we've been prepping for this game. And, I think we, we, we feel confident and we're excited now to get, get going. Another fantastic stadium with the roof closed, an opportunity for some running rugby, you hope? Yeah, you'd hope, you'd hope. Um, <laughs> I see the, it does... It Hopefully does get, not as humid as some yeah, of Yeah, it does get pretty pretty greasy with the humidity, but I don't know what that's going to be like at the weekend. But yeah, fingers crossed, it uh, stay, stays, stays dry and we're all good. Yeah, we've had the ashes this summer and the sports fans go nuts for, for any fixture between England and Australia. Is, do you think this is any different? Is it going to be a massive game at the weekend and, and there's no doubt going to be a buzz in and amongst the fans? Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a massive buzz every, at any time you come up against Australia, whatever competition that is. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, an, it's an exciting week, but um, we're, we're not getting too carried away. We've got to treat it like any other game. We're, we, we, we've, got a, we've got a plan in place and we can't let the, the occasion get, get too much of the better of us. So, yeah, um, an exciting challenge, um, one you grow up grow up looking at looking at playing in and hoping you get the chance to play in but um, but but we, we, we've we, we've got uh, we've got a couple of that brutality and that competitive competitiveness with uh, with controlled controlled aggression as well and there's obviously a huge traveling support of England fans out here at the moment um, but how important is it that you get messages of support from from everyone back home does that does that mean a lot to you as a player yeah it's massive I mean We've had so many people out here supporting us physically, but obviously there's so many people back home um, with us wishing us so many um, well wishes and um, sending us so many good messages that uh, really does really does um, inspire us and and, uh, and makes us want to succeed even more. So thanks very much for those messages, guys. Keep them coming. I'm going to put you on the spot. Japan for me is an immense place. What are your two top two Japanese experiences? Oh, beef's got to be on it. Beef, good, be, the beef's got to be on it. Miyazaki beef is oh, unbelievable. Yeah. Different, yeah. different levels. Oh, yeah. next gravy. But um, I, I just think the, the culture and the, the people, it's friendly, clean up culture. Everywhere's pristine and everyone's friendly and happy and willing to help you. And I think that's um, something I'd, I'd love to see a little bit more back home. I'd say, I'd say uh, onsen oh, is yeah. one of mine. Unbelievable. Uh, and the second one's the toilets. Oh, so mind you, you can you can walk, <laughs> you walk in you walk in you open the door and the, the toilet seat lifts up for you, and then you got a little button to that can blow water up and wipe cleans you. Or it's, it's Music, you, tired, any you got sound. heated heated toilet seat. There's what about if you can't be bothered to flush? Ice. You just walk away. It doesn't actually. They, yeah, they flush they do, all yeah. you. It's, it's mental. Yeah. I, actually, I got tweeted a link um, from someone uh, of like a company that does these toilets in England. So I think I'm going to get one when I get back. You're actually going to get one in your house? Well, yeah. I don't, know much, I don't know how much they cost. Or if anyone's listening, they can, they can, they can sort me out. But, um. Thanks very much for watching Where the Rose live here in Beppu. Saturday sees England take on Australia in the Rugby World Cup quarterfinal. You can watch it at 8.15 a.m. on ITV in the UK. Thank you very much for joining us, fellas. Best of luck for the weekend. Thank you for your support. And thank you for watching Where the Rose live. Cheers. Thanks a lot.